What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Michael Knapp Fishing. Today's video is brought to you all by Shop Carl's and Mystery Tackle Box. We're going to dive into the July Mystery Tackle Box, unbox this, and check out what we've got for the month of July. We're going to roll that intro and then we'll get into it guys. All right guys, so July's mystery tackle box. We're gonna have probably some top water in here, some maybe some deep diving crankbaits in here, maybe a little bit of lead or tungsten in here. Let's see, let's check it out. First things first, in honor of Bentley, we will dig the sticker out real quick. Ooh, lots of good stuff in here. Let's see where the sticker is, there it is. All right, so we've got an alien catching a fish. Very cool sticker. Bentley will be excited to get that when he comes back. All right, so we've got a lot of really cool things in here right off the bat. I see some awesome stuff. So number one is an arc crankbait. Very good looking little crankbait. This is the CT3-5. It is a floating crankbait. Dives three to five foot. The Square Bill Crank CT3-5 features our magnetic weight transfer system. Makes this bait outcast any other baits in its class. It cranks to three to five feet deep with a very tight wobbling action. Unique low pitch sound. Very cool bait, I like that a lot. Let's see, up next we have got a Beast Coast Fishing Co Working Man's Premium Swim Jig. That looks phenomenal for those grass fisheries that you may be fishing in. This feels like it's probably a 3 8 of an ounce. Let's see if it actually says 5 16 Excuse me, I was off by a little bit. United in the Pursuit of Big Bass Tournament Ready Original Design. Very, very good looking bait. Uh, I will probably pair that up with an X-Zone Swammer. I don't think I got anything in here that I want to pair it up with. So, very cool bait right there. Next up, we have got Spearpoint. You guys know I've been working with Spearpoint for a little while now. These are their 3 EWG standard gauges. I really do like Spearpoint hooks. They've been doing a, a, a number for me here lately, especially when we were in Michigan. Uh, episode... I believe episode three, you see me switch from some finesse hooks that I was using over to spear point hooks. You'll see why, <laughs> there was a big reason why. Up next, I'm gonna save the soft plastics for last. This is another headbanger. We had headbanger in the last box as well. I'm looking to see what this is called, Spitfire. This is the Headbanger Spitfire Topwater Lure. It looks really good. I like how it looks. The Headbanger Spitfire is one versatile topwater bait. The patented action lip at the front kicks up a ton of water during medium to fast retrieves. Perfect for dirtier water and when you're trying to draw the fish up from deeper. The action lip also orchestrates the movement in the body, giving it a superior swimming action at the slowest speeds. Perfect for a more subtle approach in calmer and cleaner water. This is a four and a half inch long bait coming in at three fifths of an ounce with VMC number four and number six treble hooks on it. Really cool looking bait. Gives off that shad imitation really well. I like it a lot. That's definitely going to get bit. All right. Up next, we have got our soft plastics, I believe is all we have left. Yes. So we have got the Z-Man Goat. I have heard a lot about this. I haven't really used it a whole lot. Uh, I don't really use a whole lot of Z-Man stuff. Uh, they've got you know phenomenal designs and the Elaztec is just phenomenal and never dies. Uh, the GOAT, I've seen Miles Berghoff talk about it a few times. Uh, he uses it on his buzz bait, stuff like that. So really looking forward to throwing that around a little bit. And then last but not least, as I just dropped my crankbait, Lake Fork Trophy Lures, lures with an attitude. Great looking little bait here, creature style bait. This is, 
Let's see if it actually gives me the name of which one this is. It is a, uh, looks like a crawl of some kind. This is the Hyper Freak 3.75 inch in watermelon candy red flake. Very good looking bait, salt infused, garlic infused. You can get those at lftlures.com. Very cool looking bait. I like those a lot. Those are going to go really good on like the back of a jig or something. So, all right, guys, that is the box. Let's go over our numbers as always because Bentley loves going over the numbers. What's inside? You've got the Headbanger Spitfire coming in at $15. The Team Arc Square Bill at $8. Beast Coast Working Man Swim Jig at $6. Z-Man Goat $5. Lake Fork Trophy Lures $5. And the Spear Point Performance Hooks $2. Very cool. We got all kinds of good stuff. And as always, you can go to Mystery Tackle Box and get the uh, get the, your tips, tricks, all that jazz over there. And as always, you've also got the Dibble. The Dibble gives you all kinds of good things in there. And uh, Headbanger has also included uh, some tips and tricks to use the Headbanger, or yeah, what is this called? The Headbanger Spitfire? To use the Headbanger Spitfire in different areas gives you a little bit of a uh, a little bit more indication of how to use it, what to use it, what to do with it. Guys, if y'all like these videos, do me a huge favor. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, leave me a comment down in the comment section below. Let me know, Mystery Tackle Box, if you got one, are you using them? Do you like them? Uh, guys, I'm absolutely loving them. We're having a great time with them. Stay tuned for part two of the Michigan series coming out this Friday. Part three and part four will follow as long as I get off my butt and edit a little bit quicker. So that's the plan for the channel. Like, comment, subscribe, notifications on. Take care, everybody.